Hi brothers and sisters, today I just want to share a short word with you that the Lord gave me. Today is the 10th of uh, April 2019 and so let's just uh, have a word of uh, prayer first. Thank you Heavenly Father for bringing us together. Lord Jesus, I ask that your Holy Spirit be the one that speaks through me, Lord. I ask you that, that um, your will be done, Lord. In our lives, Father, I ask that you bless each and every one that is listening, Lord. Thank you for edifying us, for strengthening us. And thank you, Lord, for warning us and for correcting us, Lord, that we may be doing your will, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. So this word that I'm going to share with you is uh, mainly for the body of Christ. And the Lord said to me today, Many will be surprised on that day of judgment. Take heed and repent. And so I'm going to open it up with Matthew 7, 21 through 23. It says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness, you workers of iniquity in the King James. That is the worst, most horrific words that any soul could hear. Depart from me, I never knew you. The Lord is calling us to seek him. He's, he's really calling us to seek him in these times and with all of our hearts. There's going to be hard times coming. And for many reasons, for, for judgments and things that are coming to the nation, there's things that are coming to the world, folks. We are living in the last days and we need to have that relationship with the Lord so close. We need to be putting distractions away that are taking our time away. Time is precious. Time is absolutely precious. And so are we um, moving in the spirit and doing the things of the Lord? Or are we moving in our flesh? As it talks about in Romans 8. In Galatians 5. Go read it for yourself. It tells us that it leads to death when we move in our flesh. And we will reap what we sow. If we don't, if we reap into the flesh. And so, um, and that's in Galatians 5. In Galatians 6, 7, the Lord will not be mocked. And so, um, like I said, there's going to be hard times coming. And we need to have that relationship with the Lord so close that we are able to hear His voice. This is not a, uh, a message to bring condemnation to anyone. But it's a message for all of us to, to um, realize the times that we're living in and for us to cut out, cut off and put away the things that are distracting us, the things that are taking us away from the Lord, the things that are, are moving us away from the truth. There's a lot of voices out there today. A lot of voices and they're not all from the Lord. We need to test the spirits. We need to test that it's uh, aligning to the word of God. And again, we can't be carried away with every wind of doctrine. The Lord said there's a rude awakening coming to many who profess that they're mine. They profess with their lips that they're mine. They honor me with their lips. And it tells us in Mark 7 six through eight well did i say i prophesy of you hypocrites as it is written this people honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me their heart is far from me we got to be so careful folks the lord is saying a thing here and in vain they worship me teaching as doctrines the commandments of men for laying aside the commandment the commandment of god you hold the tradition of men Thank you, Heavenly Father. I'm trying to think of, a, a, of another scripture that speaks about uh, how the, it's in the book of Titus, the, when we're um, 
following the doctrines of man it turns away from the truth it turns us away from the lord it turns us away from the word of god and so like i said a lot of voices are being heard these days and they're not all from god and we need to be testing the spirits we need to be careful we need to be led of the holy spirit we need to be moving in love and um making sure that what we are looking at what we're hearing is from god that's why we need to be so close to the lord and setting our time together with him um it's not uh, um just saying a little prayer is is truly seeking him every day there's things in the world that every day keep trying to pull us back pull us back into the world and we have to it's a constant uh, waging a good warfare waging a good warfare in the faith we have to stay rooted and grounded grounded in the truth folks um the other thing that the lord is very very displeased about is the bickering and the destruction in the body of christ the slandering the backbiting the tongue lashes that is destroying ministries destroying people destroying families destroying people in the church um and this is is uh it's an abomination to the lord he will not tolerate this uh, many are allowing this is the, the 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 tongue of satan folks the the accuser of the brethren is satan and when we allow ourselves to be tempted because he comes to tempt us when we allow ourselves to be moved in the flesh and to talk and speak about other people, even if it's under the guise of, well, let's pray for so-and-so. We're just praying. But did you hear about so-and-so and what they did and what they didn't do? That is gossiping. That is slander. That is envy. That is jealousy, folks. We got to realize what we're doing. And the Lord does not look upon it lightly. He is very displeased about this. And it's happening widely all over the, the body of Christ. Not just in America. Um, there's many scriptures about the tongues. And about uh, 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 flattering lips. And about uh, um, a forward mouth. A perverse mouth. But um, there's one that describes... Uh, a wicked man a wicked man in the book of uh, Proverbs 6 a wicked man says uh, 612 it says a worthless person a wicked man walks with a perverse mouth this is a, a mouth full of iniquity godlessness lawlessness he winks with his eyes he shuffles his feet he points his fingers see there's a lot of ping of uh, uh, finger pointing going on in the body of christ these days and tearing up each other when we are commanded to love each other folks this is not the spirit of the lord that's that's doing this the the holy spirit will not bring slander against anyone else he will not um proverbs 13 i just read it to you 14 perversity is in his heart he devises evil continually. It is evil in the sight of the Lord. It is evil when we allow and lend ourselves to, to slander and backbite and gossip about other people. He sows discord. This is sowing. You're sowing seeds of discord. Then when we do in this, we're sowing into the grounds and the hearts of other people discord and bitterness and envy and and strife and contention just all the things that are the works of the flesh uh proverbs 16 uh, i mean 6 15 it says therefore his calamity shall come suddenly suddenly he shall be broken without remedy these six things the lord hates yes seven are an abomination to him a proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed blood, uh, innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift and running to evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among the brethren. Folks, this is very, very serious, and we need to take it that serious. On the other hand, the character of those who dwell with the lord see 
the previous uh, uh, in Proverbs six is, uh, six is talking about the the character of a wicked man, a wicked servant. The character of those that dwell with the Lord in Psalm fifteen two it says, "He who walks uprightly and walks and works righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart." He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor. See, are we seeing the contrast, folks? He does not backbite with his tongue and does no evil to his neighbor. Speaking about someone else is doing evil that, to that someone else. Whoever it is, regardless to who it is. Nor does he take up a reproach against his friend. He won't take up or he won't tolerate that gossip coming to that to to you. You won't tolerate it. You will you will turn it away and you will not participate in it. In whose eyes a vile person is despised, but he honors those who fear the Lord. And we have to fear the Lord. He who swears to his own hurt and does not change. This is still the character of those who dwell with the Lord. Psalm 15, 5, he who does not put out his money at usury, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does these things shall never be moved. Shall never be moved. And so, shall never be moved from the truth, from the word of God, from obeying the commandments of the Lord as the Lord commands us. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. Folks, I wanted to bring this word because the Lord stirred my heart up so much. And it's not the first time. There's so much discord and bickering in the body of Christ. There's so much uh, 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 falsehood going on. There's a lot of false doctrine. There's a lot of um, um, destruction between each other, between ministries, between each other in the same body. And people are coming out of churches hurt, wounded, and we're just bringing in uh, uh, roots of bitterness and resentment and hatred. And it tells us in the book of First John that hatred is as the sin of murder. In the book of First John uh, 3, chapter 3, verse 10, it says, In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil Whosoever does not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loves not his brother. For this is the message that you heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. Not as Cain, who was of that wicked one, and slew his brother. His brother. So we're, we're, we're bringing destruction, and it's, 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 a, it's a murderous spirit. And wherefore slew him, because his own works were evil, and his brother's righteous. He was envious. Marvel not, my brethren, if the world hate you. We know that we have passed from death to, unto life, because we love the brethren. Because we love the brethren. He that loves not his brother abides in death. Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. Whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. It's equal to murdering. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. And so the Lord is bringing a stern warning today for us to watch what we're saying, to watch what's in our heart, to get into a, a repentance with the Lord every day, to repent before the Lord as many times as it takes to forgive those that hurt us, to love their brethren, to not be backbiting, and to seek the Lord. We have to seek the Lord. And with every word that I give you, take it to the Lord and seek Him. Seek from the Holy Spirit what He has for you and for your family and your household, in your area, in your nation. Thank you, wonderful Jesus. I love you guys. I bless you. I, I uh, pray that um, you share this. I pray that the Lord touches you, that he uses you, he empowers you, and that he blesses you overall. In the name of Jesus, 
I uh, I pray that you're saved. If uh, there's people out there that are listening to this and you are not saved, you have not received the Lord, I pray that today you make that decision and give your heart to the Lord. Make sure your heart, your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life and that your soul is secure and, and, um, and that you're seeking the Lord. Praise you, wonderful Jesus. I bless you. I love you. Until next time, be in peace. God willing.